Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel. And um, a lot of you have been asking me, you know, well, um, you know, what's happening with Fluent Design? And you guys know that Fluent Design uh, made big headlines in Creators Update, for example, in a little further. And it's still there. And I don't know if you can see it, but when I move my, ma my mouse pointer over this icon, for example, there's kind of a backlighting that changes. So obviously, uh, obviously, this is still going on. And how do you know? Well, this is part of Fluent Design, the uh, icons. So all the different icons that are being used are also being updated with the Fluent Design system. And that means that this is what they look like right now. So it's not just Windows, but every app, everything Microsoft actually is creating uh, and every icon will have its Fluent Design counterpart icons. Now, I'll say it again. I find it funny that, you know, they just upgrade a few icons at a time, throw them at us, and it's like, well, look at that, new icons. Yeah, I get it, but still, there uh, really is a need for, you know, I think more work than uh, just creating a few icons at a time. I mean, at this space, Windows 10 is going to have all its new icons for everything uh, by 2030 or something. So yeah, uh, Fluent Design is still a thing. It's still something that's being worked on. And of course, um, the folders that I've shown you last week, I've shown you a few um, new folders for the File Explorer system that is now part of uh, the Insiders on the Dev channel, which will probably become part of 21H2. I think we'll see a big boost and a big, uh, a big push of uh, the um, Fluent Design at that time. Uh, there's always going to be a very big push of Fluent Design when we get to 21H2. I think it's obvious that this is going to be uh, something we're going to see more. Uh, once again, there are layers, so you know, I don't know if they're going to talk about it again, but uh, I think it's part of the going forward. Uh, Fluent Design is still the thing. A lot of you were wondering, because you know, there were some pause. There were some moments where there really wasn't any changes or nothing really visible. But as time goes by, it's slowly coming up. It's slowly showing up. So um, this is going to be part of, uh, of, of Windows 10, and it continues to be part of it. And also all the apps, including even online. Uh, Fluent Design is taking part of every part of everything Microsoft, even on the Bing page online and the different uh, pages Microsoft is creating. And, uh, of course, all the apps. Uh, so that's something to look forward to. Eventually, we'll have more, probably, changes in the visual aspect of everything. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.